If not for the interest of a big-name Hollywood star such as George Clooney, it might never have seen the light of day. Clooney wrote, directed, and starred in Monument Men. I've got to believe he was personally touched by the story. I think all of our inspiration in general is to try to get stories made that if we didn't sort of go after them, probably wouldn't get made. Because the others are going to get made anyway. As the film begins, we see Clooney's character, Frank Stokes, convincing President Roosevelt that someone needs to save the great masterpieces. Because if they disappear, it would be as though the people that made and appreciated them never existed. Getting the president's approval was the first of many challenges. Field commanders and the various locales the group visits showed little interest. You've got to understand that each of the monument men was involved in art to one extent or another when they were recruited. Most of them were old, even out of shape by army standards, and no one considered them real soldiers in the beginning. Although American leaders were not that committed to art, Adolf Hitler was. He wanted many of the works for his planned Fuhrer Museum. When it became obvious that Germany would be on the losing side, he ordered everything destroyed at his death or at war's end. It's interesting to see both personal transformation and affirmation in the two or so years of the movie's action. One member of the team, who considered himself an alcoholic loser, said that he had never before felt so alive as then when he was surrounded by so much death. Another team member had the opportunity for a one-night stand that no one would ever know about. Instead, he affirmed his commitment to his marriage. Over the course of the movie, two of the Monument Men gave their lives for the mission. When Stokes is back in America, he is asked if it was all worth it and if anyone would remember what the team had accomplished. We then flash forward 30 years and watch an elderly Stokes give his answer. This is Steve Eastman reporting. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com.